Hello, I have returned from karate camp and I'm very sunburnt. But that's not what this video is about. Today we're bringing back an old favourite. We're doing a love free from unboxing. Hooray! This is going to be a very special love free from unboxing because it is the two year anniversary of Love Free From. Love Free From has been sending out boxes for the past two years, which is very freaky considering I remember getting the first one and it does not feel like two years ago. But that deserves a massive congratulations. Well done, Love Free From. Fantastic gluten free business that I love and support. So I got gifted this box and I wanted to do something special for the two year anniversary. And that is going to be that I'm going to try every single thing in the box. I'm not just going to pick some. No, no. I'm trying every single thing that's in this box. I don't care what it is. If it is friggin' soy sauce, I'm drinking it. If there's some sort of flour mix, I'm going to have to get in the kitchen and make it up. I'm trying every single thing in this box for the two year anniversary. Let's open this bad boy right up. A note. It says, Morgan, enjoy your goodies. See you soon, smiley face. That's referring to the Allergy Free From show that is next month. So, and oh my goodness! Got a discount code. Do you know what? That's pretty special. I don't think I've had a discount code before. Special. It's like, if anyone wants to try it, how to celiac for 20% off. All right, let's open this up. Love Free From. Happy two years to us. First up is olives. Olives, which I'm assuming are olives. Naturally green pitted olives, lemon and rosary. Sounds fantastic. Used to hate olives, then I grew up. Olive. Mmm. Makes me feel like I want a platter. I love olives. <laughs> I'm gonna have another one. No, I'm not, because I've got a lot to eat today. Next up is a bar from Misfit. I think this is like a protein bar. I actually used to eat these when I was training for my karate grading. I've not tried this flavor though. It is plant powered chocolate speculoos. Let's give it a whirl. <laughs> Olives was a strong one to start out with, so I don't know if, how many snacks I'm gonna need to get past that. Here is our Misfits bar. Oh, little bits. There's little bits in it. And I like it because it doesn't taste like protein. Do you know what I mean? Now we have some. This was, oh my God. This is going to be a really tricky box to try everything in, but I've committed to it now. Um, this is not going to be difficult. We've got some Mallow Bites. I think I've had these before at the Allergy Free From show in Birmingham this year. This is what they look like. Oh, this marshmallow is blue. Was it? No, it's white. It's white. <laughs> Lovely, delicious. Now we've got some urban fruit, gently baked strawberries. Don't worry, I will be putting these all in like sealable containers, so I'm not gonna be wasting anything. Oh, so this is what a gently baked strawberry looks like. Looks a lot like a date. Does taste like a strawberry though, so. This one looks like it might be a favorite. Grisco. Grissini breadstick bites dipped in peanut butter and dark chocolate. Not quite what I thought it was going to look like, but this is what it is. I believe under here, peanut butter and then bread. Like, like crispy bread. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these slap. I love these. These taste like something to me. <gasps> I just realized I know what it tastes like. It tastes like Pocky. Yeah, it does. It tastes like Pocky. If you're missing Pocky, this is the experience. But maybe even better because it tastes like peanut butter as well. Oh my god. I'm going to find who owns this brand and give them a cuddle. Now we have, that's going to need the microwave. One second. One of my favorite snack bars, Crispy Treats from Lexi's. Uh, these are one of the things that I took to karate camp and I ate the most of. I've got the strawberry white chocolate flavor because that's my favorite. Have I tried chocolate orange before? I'd say so because I've tried like all of them. This is what it looks like. So it's like a puffed, a puffed rice marshmallow snack. Orangey. Tastes like chocolate orange. Ooh, now we have got VIP nuts, hot chili flavor. VIP, asterisk, 
very important peanuts. So does that mean this means very important peanuts nuts? Spicy nuts, let's crack into it. Spicy nuts. Oh, that's spicy. Oh, spicy. I'm very spicy. Spicy. Okay. <gasps> Delicious. These might be spicy for you if you're not good with spice. This is the last thing I think I'm going to be able to try here right now. And the rest I'm going to have to take to the kitchen. But I have left this till last because... I do not like this. <laughs> it's nothing to do with the brand personally. It's just I don't like drinking vinegar. Shoot me. <coughs> but I'll try it for you now. <coughs> <coughs> Probably don't watch this next part if you don't like gagging. <coughs> I know how good it is for you. You don't need to tell me. I need to stop sipping it. Yuck. So not a fan. So I've still got five things in the box, but I cannot try them here because they require some assembly. The first, actually I probably could try this one. The first one is Daily D Vitamin D3 Food Supplement. These are capsules. Ugh. So luckily, vitamin D3 is something that I need. So I'm going to be using these. Do you want me to try this? Do I need to try this? Yep, I will, because I said it at the start. I'll try everything. Let me just get a glass of water. Ugh. Cute. It's like a jewel. Wow. Yep, great. <laughs> I don't know if I can really give direct feedback on that, but I said I'd try it, and so I am. My stomach's probably like, it's all this. Okay, so the last four things we have is some electrolytes, which also would be good for me right now because I cannot move very dynamically at the moment. My body is so sore from the weekend. I've got two flavors, watermelon and blueberry. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go watermelon okay, so I'll try that in, in a minute the next thing I've got is quinoa Mediterranean whole grain express quinoa and then I've also got gluten-free American pancake mix with vanilla bean so we'll be making that and with lunch as well with my quinoa I will be eating some bhajis all I need is an onion and a handful of fresh coriander which I don't have so I'm gonna go to the shop <laughs> hello welcome to the kitchen we're gonna try this electrolyte drink very the brand is very maybe watermelon -y. oh mm. tastes like watermelon needs ice I think I would prefer this cool it's very sweet I don't think there's any sugar in it so sweetness sweet okay Next up, we've got the quinola, so let me just whack this in the microwave. And I just wrote on the back, you don't even need to heat this up. You can enjoy it cold, so that's what I'm going to do. Quinoa. Here we are. Great flavour. I think I would enjoy it more heated up, though. It's good. Quinoa itself doesn't have a strong taste, so it tastes like tomatoes and olives, which is... Very Mediterranean, so exactly what it says. Now I'm gonna make up this pancake mix. This makes 24 small pancakes and I'm not about to eat 24 small pancakes for you right now. I will in the weekend though. So I think I'm gonna try quarter this mixture and we'll see how it goes. Here are my pancakes. Let's give them a go. Great. We'll be using the rest in the weekend. The last thing we're trying today is the bang curry bhaji mix, so let's make these.
with now a lot of budgies, which I think will keep fine. I'll just like reheat them up in the oven, right? I did forget the coriander, so please, please ignore that, but they smell really good. So. Did you see that dribble? <laughs> Actually, pretty good considering I've never made a budgie before. The spice mix is really nice. Mmm. Yum. I just need to, like, have a yogurt dip for it and I'd be set. <laughs> okay, we did it. We tried every single thing in this month's Love Free From box. They said it couldn't be done. <laughs> Hold your applause, I know. Oh, I forgot to show you this month's gift from Love Free From. It's a little wee, little wee pastry brush. I used their spatula. That was in, like one of their boxes about 18 boxes ago all the time. That is all for today's video. Don't forget if you would like to try Love Free From yourself, you can pop in the code how to celiac for 20% off at checkout. Yeah, I have a code now. Mm -hmm. I had to pick some favorites. I'm gonna go the Bargies and I'm gonna go the Grissini from Grisco because they taste like Pocky and I loved the olives and the nuts were really good too. There wasn't anything I hated except for the freaking apple cider vinegar. But that's on apple cider vinegar, not on the brand lilies. Alright, I'm going to eat my plate of bhajis now. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>